What is up guys, it is Andrew Rapier here of Be The AT Production and Publishing bringing you guys another YouTube video. In this YouTube video, I'm gonna be showing you guys different ways you can build chords and learn to make chords and melodies inside of FL Studio 12. Now we do need to be a little bit more specific. We are using FL Studio 12.3, um, or actually no, 12.4. So. If you guys do not have this version, you guys might be behind on some of the options that they are giving you to excel on making chords. But before we get into the FL Studio process, I would like to show you a program that can actually even help you achieve chord um, magic. And one of the programs is uh, by Exver. Xfer is the same company that made Serum and they made this plugin called Cholua and essentially all you do go into your miscellaneous VST wrapping settings and go into uh, the input input and output put it to any number I put it to two go to your VST you would want it to route to because it needs a route to a VST to output the sound because it builds the chords for you. So I put two and two for my addictive keys. Um, and Cholua, I won't be blatant. This is cheating. Like this is 100% cheating in making chords and melodies. Um, however, you can use this to reverse engineer to learn how chords are made and melodies are made as well as using it to uh, break any, um, how would I say it? You can use this to essentially break any writer's block. Now, let me show you what happens. You click, I first turned off the ARP. It's usually always triggered on. We go to Iconic, Icon Diatonic. Go and do a C sharp minor. I'm literally clicking one note and it's playing these chords. There's a lot of different settings that they have. I'm not gonna, we're gonna get into actual FL Studio stuff. I just wanted to show you guys this tool real quick. So yeah, you can essentially do that. Now mute that. Now let's really show you how you can build these chords inside of FL Studio. So we're gonna go up to a new pattern. So if you have a little bit older version of FL Studio, what you guys can do is go to the helper and uh, I don't know if it's called scale highlighting for the older versions of the ST, uh, older versions of FL Studio, but I do know it's called something very similar. And go into here and click in automatic. So what does that mean? So if you, it literally will highlight the whole entire grid to an automatic setting of the chords. So if I do. C minor, I believe. So it's literally going to highlight all the notes that will go with it. Now, so you can see on A, and a sharp it, the grid is slightly darker 
as well as C sharp. And that's just FL Studio telling you, hey, if you're going to stay on this chord, these notes won't work, essentially. So... And I literally just made that by following the highlighted notes that it told me that would work. So another thing, let's say you already know what scale you're wanting to work in. This is where uh, FL, you need at least FL Studio 12.3. So go to scale highlighting. I'll do Aeolian and Aeolian is gonna be the whole modern day uh, minor scale essentially that's alien is there's probably some music professional could probably tell you a better you know definition but so I'm gonna go to alien go to helpers scale highlighting G sharp so that is essentially picking out the whole modern day G minor uh, scale so if we look at G sharp or G sharp minor uh, there. I'm literally just picking the highlighted chords and you can look at this and over time when you're building your chords you'll be seeing how uh, the melodies are actually structured and you start understanding through listening about oh well, this note goes with this this goes with that and it's just like repetition I honestly don't know much about traditional music theory. I rely on Tony, uh, Tony Chang being my co-producer. I rely on Tony to use his trained ear to uh, help me in some of this stuff. But even him, he doesn't get everything perfect. Or it might take him a little bit longer to get a certain thing right. But with these tools, it kind of eliminates a factor of I'm needing to understand music um, theory to to an extent. I do recommend people understanding it and learning it. It will never hurt you. It will only benefit you. More you learn is only going to benefit you. So let me think. Do we have? Oh, and then we got another one. Uh, I'm going to go to helpers scale highlighting and turn it off. But what you can also do is do the stamp and do it by hand. So click Aeolian. So this is the G Aeolian. I personally like doing this route more. Control A, Control X. Put it in a VST that does not have any sound. Control V.
so you guys could understand how these melodies are made now the there's many different ways you can I was just showing you one of the ways if you guys wanted to use a different scale you can use a different scale like the Japanese scale or maybe a just a minor seventh scale so there's a lot of different ways I'm just trying to show you guys every possible way that I know of currently so if I ever find out more ways I'll be sure to show you guys um, with that all being said I'm gonna try to wrap this uh, tutorial how to video up where we are at 11 minutes is pretty good at least that's what the recording time is at if you guys have any questions concerns comments or anything else be sure to leave a comment or contact me be sure to visit beatat.com for drum kits tools services and beats that can excel your craft and yeah i mean this is that and we are pretty much done uh let me know what you guys think this is andrew pure here with b to at production publishing and i will see you guys later